So for our second video on our Triple Thursday, or actually Triple Friday, which doesn't make sense to me, but whatever, we're going to be making this strawberry mono lead, and I'll show you how to throw on the indie dance uh, delay. That's quite interesting. And it's very simple. It's basically a mono synth that is played a lot over uh, tunnel pop songs. Uh, some I can think of in particularly. But anyways, have a listen to the demo example I prepared uh, showing off this synth along with a, another conjunction mono synth that we'll be making along in this course. And, you know, just take it with a grain of salt. It kind of reminds me of a synthetic glass harp. So, that's kind of a uh, cutesy sound. It's great for EDM and pop tracks. It brings out uh, the kind of uh, side effects you want to be in a digital synth. So, what I'm going to do is right off the bat create a combinator. Inside this combinator, I'm going to go to my instruments and create a Thor. I'm going to bring my range all the way down to 1, my polyphony to 1, and my release poly polyphony to 1. And I'm going to turn on mono legato retrig. I'm also going to put on my portamento to auto. And for the portamento, it's very critical to get this number right, and it's 20. Because if you go any higher or any lower, it will start to jump keys and pitch with it too. So it's not not recommended. So for our first oscillator, I'm going to change this to a multi oscillator. I'm going to take the amount to 36 instead of 24. I'm going to take it to fifths up for the wave type. And that's about it for that synth. Next we're going to add a analog and we're going to choose our square. We're going to take the PW width to 64, so smack dab in the middle. And for our oscillator 3, we want this to be a wavetable. We're going to choose 10 signs, and the reason why for this is because we want that higher amount of octave to shine through when we play a key. So I'm going to boost this by an octave. I'm going to take my position to zero. All right, now to tackle the filters. I'm going to turn on one, two, and three through my first filter. And I'm going to take the frequency to about 900 hertz and leave everything else where it is. After this, I'm going to just turn on my chorus. I'm going to bring the delay back to about 2.5 milliseconds and my dry wet I'm going to bring that down to 26 for my amp envelope I'm going to bring up the decay and sustain all the way I'm going to bring up the release and my attack a bit to give it a kind of ringing out so when you play a chord it kind of stays in place for a little bit. After this, I'm going to go to my RV7000 Advanced Reverb. I'm going to take the Decay all the way down to 31. I'm going to take my Dry Wet to about 21. I'm going to hit the Remote Programmer. I'm going to choose the Room Size to about 4. I'm going to turn up the pre-delay to about 100 milliseconds and the size, turn it up as large as you can make it. Okay, so now that we have our filter, I'm going to create a Line 6 bass amp found in Studio Effects. I'm going to turn on the threshold and I'm going to bring it back to about 69. After this, I'm going to go to my Creative Effects and choose the Echo. 
I'm going to set the delay time to about 1 8 triplets. I'm going to make sure my sync is on. And for the feedback, let's take that to about 57%. After this, I'm going to create an M class equalizer. I want to turn on my low cut, my P1 and P2. For the first frequency we want to remove, it's 6840 kilohertz. It's uh, more of a higher ring than we can hear, but we can definitely still hear it. I wouldn't say we can't hear it, I would say it's very annoying and that we want to remove it. It's uh, worse if you hit your, uh, if you play higher notes than lower notes. It's really bad for your hearing. Anyways, for the second frequency we want to take out is 1.845 kilohertz. Gain down, cue all the way up. After this, create a M-Class maximizer found in Studio Effects. Take off the limiter, put release to slow. Turn on soft clip, and for the amount, bring that to 127. And there you guys have it, your very own strawberry keyboard. <laughs> So if you want to program this a little bit further, uh, just hit Show Programmer, grab a, a, uh, a button, and choose the Echo. So I'm going to choose button 1. I'm going to take the Master Enabled. I'm going to turn it to On and Off. So actually, I think it's... Uh, let me take a look real quick. Aha! So it's Bypass and then On. So bypass for the minimum and then on for the max. And then we can just call this indie dance delay. So I'll check you guys out in uh, another hour for another monosynth type chord lead. Peace.